Today's veterinary treatments, particularly in orthopedic surgery, are as sophisticated as those available to human patients. Advanced surgical options for just about any joint condition help keep our dogs more comfortable and agile throughout their lives. Of all the orthopedic problems dogs can encounter, hip dysplasia is one of the most prevalent, but it often goes unnoticed for years. In fact, millions of dogs are suffering in pain from the consequences of hip dysplasia right now, but their owners, even when aware of it, don't know what can be done. Canine hip dysplasia is a malformation and laxity in the, in the hip joint. I have a plastic model that demonstrates that. And in a dysplastic young dog, there's movement between the ball and the socket. And over time, that movement results in severe osteoarthritis, where we see bone spore formation around the joint and ultimately severe cartilage erosion, leading to pain and lameness. We believe it's somewhere in the 20 to 30 percent of dogs in the United States have hip dysplasia and of those about 25 percent have clinical signs that are severe enough to warrant treatment. Unfortunately, hip dysplasia is uh, usually diagnosed quite late when osteoarthritic signs are already present. The perception of hip dysplasia in young animals, in young dogs particularly, is quite low because uh, the do dogs are able to hide the symptoms. Dogs are like a four-wheel drive car, so they can modulate the weight bearing on the front limb when they have soreness on the rear limbs. And the only sign they can see when they are so young is that they are, appear to be lazy, not so active in activity, in playing and so on. As uh, for any other diseases, early treatment is much easier and much rewarding. Early detection and a rational, evidence-based prognosis for progression of hip dysplasia requires a very thorough, specialized clinical examination in four to five-month-old puppies. At this age, only extreme conditions can be detected by owners. Whatever the prognosis, measures ranging from a special diet or relatively simple corrective surgery to a total hip replacement can be taken to avoid disease progression. I think the biggest obstacle is early recognition of disease and identification of the disease by both veterinarians and owners. So I think that uh, that's, that's the biggest hurdle that we face is actually identifying these patients and being able to provide options for appropriate treatment. For dogs that are not diagnosed early with hip dysplasia, I feel that hip replacement is the ideal solution. The bone-on-bone -bone grinding is eliminated with this. The muscles come back, the function comes back, your dog can run and jump and play and go to the park, and you've eliminated the need for all these pain medications and all this worry over your dog for the rest of its life. These typically last the life of the dog. The success rate is 90%. That's the same as it is with the human hip. There can be complications, but usually we can resolve the complications. When it comes to taking care of our canine counterparts, we live in an extraordinary time. Awareness for conditions like hip dysplasia is spreading, and the surgical options are improving the quality of life of today's dogs with every step they take. Over the last 20 years that we've been working on the total hip prosthesis for dogs, we looked at the three basic problems of any total prosthesis. How to fix it to one bone, and how to fix it to the other bone, and how to make a low friction, low wear articulation. At the moment, we think that this is a device that can last for the life of the dog, and we operate many dogs that are not even mature, one year or less old, and their life expectancy is 15 years. This by far exceeds what is expected from a human total hip prosthesis, which is being put into patients when they're 70 years old on average. Kion is the leading provider of innovative products for orthopedic and trauma surgery in dogs, including a unique total hip replacement system. Following six years of development at the University of Zurich, Switzerland, Kion introduced the procedure to over 150 specialty clinics around the world. I'm performing THR, total hip replacement, in dogs for 16 years, and I already did over 1,500 cases. I have a commitment to follow my patient and uh, my system is to call them every year for a recheck. If they cannot come, they send me an email 
with the movie of the dog uh, and so I can understand if everything is going well. That allows me to understand the outcome and the outcome is excellent. You know, we've performed almost a thousand total hip replacements over the last decade and the most impressive thing about it is how well the majority of the cases do very quickly. And we hear owners say that their dog reverts to a puppyhood attitude and personality and playfulness that they never had before. So the, the positive results are the most impressive thing and overall the results are excellent. The total hip replacement system and the educational endeavor that surrounds it is what Kion is most proud of. Company leaders are steadfast in their mission to improve the lives of our dogs by continuously improving their products and services. We never do what is out there. We always try to find new ways of doing it. And once we do this, we have to teach the surgeons how to use the device. And we spend a lot more time teaching than we actually spend developing. Furthering the art and science of veterinary orthopedics, Kion.